Well, an estimated 2 million people nationwide will be diagnosed with cancer this year. Imagine that. It's, hard to, it's a hard number to swallow, but you can help those patients in your community in a very simple way. And here to tell us more is Marissa Fameris with the American Cancer Society, and we've got volunteer Lisa Cabot. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, well, cancer is such a scary thing. It really does impact us all in some way, some family member. Marissa, tell us about the Road to Recovery recovery program and why this program is so important. Sure. Well, you're right. I mean, every week we hear from families and friends who are touched mm. by cancer. And one of the great ways you can help is through the American Cancer Society Road to Recovery. They provide uh, free rides to cancer patients to and from treatment. Oh my gosh, that could be so helpful. Yes. Well, how does that process work? Take me through uh, scheduling and what it's like for those volunteers and for the patients too. Sure. So um, for a driver, if you want to be a driver, you know, you sign up and then when uh, there are available rides, they c you can go through the website or an app and see what okay. rides are available that fit your location and your time and you choose if you can do round trip or to and from. And so similarly for a, a driver or for a patient, they choose, um, they select when they need rides and they submit it and then they... Um, they just wait to be picked up and taken to their appointments. That's such incredible and important work on the volunteer side yes. as well, because so many people out there could need help. Now, Lisa, you're a volunteer. Why did you decide to help out in, in this way? Well, um, the reason I decided to volunteer with Road to Recovery in particular, um, in large part, is I'm a, a breast cancer survivor, okay. so it does hit near and dear to home. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt it'd be a great opportunity to give back to some others in the community that are in a similar situation and need some transportation rides to and from appointments. Yeah, yeah. especially having been through a journey like that. And I'm so happy to hear that you're here today with us. You're looking great as well. And thank, thank you, you for the work that you do. Now, do you have a story uh, from driving or, or maybe something that has happened during your volunteering time that just really spoke to you? So sure, um, there's many stories to recall, but um, one that comes to mind in particular is a wonderful lady and her caregivers um, that I gave several rides to from her medical appointments. Mm -hmm. um, and along the, along the journey to and from there, you have some opportunities to talk with them and learn a little bit more about them personally and them you as well. And so um, a common connection that we found, she is a retired attorney wow. and I'm a retired court reporter. So we kind of had an interesting legal connection in the past too. Yes, you did. And that yeah. is so cool for them as well to be able to chat with somebody who's already been through that tough time. And, and, and also it, it, it I'm sure provides inspiration for them. Now, Marissa, how can people get involved with the Road to Recovery and, and is there a need for more volunteers? Yes. Yeah, so Yes, there is a need. Uh, uh, American Cancer Society Road to Recovery provided 1,400 rides last year and it fell short. Uh, we only have 137 drivers, so any way you'd like to give back. Uh, think about you have friends and family that you, you're you unable to make a difference maybe in their cancer journey, but you have friends who need help. And so sure. it's super easy to go to cancer.org uh, slash drive and sign up. There's an hour of self-paced training. There's a background check. And as long as you have a vehicle and a safe driving record, you can be a driver. Okay, great. I was going to ask about yeah. what those requirements look like and uh, what about donations and stuff like that if people want to help in that way? Sure. You know, um, I would say go to cancer.org and there's okay. um, two things. Like, yes, of course, donations are always uh, beneficial to go towards cancer research and supporting the program. But also, you know, if you're on your own cancer journey and you want facts or you want other resources, there's so many resources available to you. Sure. Our family has been on a journey as well. And we found talking points about talking to your children about cancer. Um, you've got uh, peer navigators to help you on your own cancer journey. So just cancer.org would be a great place to go. Cancer.org, and for those who want to volunteer, now is a great time to do so, and of course, for a great cause. Thank you both Thank so you. much for being with Thanks us today. Thanks for having us. Truly appreciated. And again, more info for you. Volunteer to become a Road to Recovery driver. The American Cancer Society is actively looking for these volunteers to transport cancer patients to treatment in your community. Just visit cancer.org slash drive to sign up.